Hey, girls, you ready to go camping? Okay, well, we got like a ton of stuff we still have to pack, so let's get to it. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddies. Uh, you can't really tell, but I just shaved all the fluffies off of the dog's paws. Sometimes they get that real fluffy fur on their paws, and I like to shave it off because it can cause them to slide on the floor here. It's about the only fur I ever trim on my dogs. And I cut all their nails. You can tell Memphis is not happy about it. She does not like to have it done. These two don't care. But Memphis is not too big. She lets me do it. She's just not happy about it. She doesn't fight, fight me too much, which is good. But uh, what's going on today? Well, Jamie already went back out to help his cousin finish up that roof. Today should be the last day of doing that. And I am rushing around like a crazy person trying to prepare because we're going camping. We're actually camping <laughs> girls. You're so crazy. We're actually camping close. I saw those tippy tappies close to home. It's Labor Day weekend at the time I'm filming this. So we are camping close to home this weekend. So it'll be kind of nice. We're just gonna go kind of close. I also want to give you guys an update about Greg's cats. Cause I think the last, one of the last videos you saw had the update about Greg's cats, but let me give you an update real quick. So if you didn't see it a couple of days ago, Greg had not a house fire, but his house filled up with smoke due to a pot that boiled and then burned on the stove while he was gone for quite a few hours. And we had to rush all the cats to the emergency vet. So it's been a few days since that happened. Uh, he called his insurance company. They're gonna come clean his entire house because he pretty much has smoke damage everywhere. If you wanna know how bad it was, he's gonna have to throw a lot of stuff away as well, which kind of sucks, but his insurance will replace most of it. So anyway, the cats, Chewy, which was the little gray cat that was like underneath the desk. Dan, if you can find that clip, insert it where I'm saying that. Chewy hasn't really eaten much since we got back. Now he's eating, he's not eating his normal cat food. He, Greg has gotten to him to eat a little bit of chicken and venison, but he doesn't want to eat his normal cat food. And we went and got him some canned cat food, some different canned cat food the other day, and he doesn't want it. And we're kind of worried that maybe something happened with his nose. And I don't know if you know this about cats, but cats, if their noses don't work, they will not eat. And that becomes a very dangerous thing. So like he's been eating, but he's not eating his food and he's definitely not eating enough. So Greg contacted the vet today and we, I, don't, I think I'm going with him. We're taking Chewy in at 4.30 to see what we can find out. Maybe there's something that they missed at the emergency vet. Maybe something else is going on. We're not really sure, but we're gonna take him in before we leave for camping. And then the other nice thing about the fact that we're going camping locally, Greg's 10 minutes away from home. So he will probably be going back and forth to his house throughout the day, just like we will as well. We may we basically wanted to go somewhere close because we just wanted to get away for the weekend and uh, go camping with Greg because we haven't been camping with Greg all year. So that's a tentative plan. Keep your paws crossed for Mr. Chewy and hopefully I'll have an update on him in a little bit. Hey girls, you ready to go camping? Okay, well we got like a ton of stuff we still have to pack so let's get to it. Okay girls, be good. Greg is here. We're gonna go see if we can find a camp. He's already here, Kira. You already saw him. We're gonna go see if we can find a camping spot. That's the goal. So, because we kind of waited till the last minute to go camping, we're rustic camping. That's okay, I like rustic camping. I don't know though, I think we got the biggest spot in the campground. This is a nice spot. It is a very nice spot. So we're gonna park the RV over there. We set up a tent just to, to save it and we're gonna pay for it. And then we'll be back here later tonight. And that path down there takes us right down to the river. So we got a lot of stuff to load up. <laughs> but the nice thing is we're from here, we're 10 minutes from home. So, all right, let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> I'm back! Oh my goodness. We gotta pack more stuff, pack more stuff and get ready. So I ran to the P.O. box and I wanted to show you guys that, look, we got another gift in our P.O. box. This is from our friend Mark. He's the one that sent the picture above the TV. There's another one of Eleanor that one of these days I'll hang up too, but Thanks, Mark, for sending that. It's super cute. It's gonna go up here. You cannot eat it, ma'am. It's gonna go up here with my wolves. There we go. Yeah, it goes with the wolves. You wanna go outside? Come on, let's go outside and then I'll make your lunch and then I gotta meet Greg at the vet at 4.30. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go, 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 go! Yeah, happiest puppers on the planet. 
They probably don't even realize they're going camping. I should have showed it, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, Kira was drooling. Uh, so you guys saw that I made bone broth the other day. Well, we did finally finish it, scraped all the fat and stuff off the top. Again, that video is going to go up on Gone to the Snow Dogs eventually. You guys will see it. They got uh, bone broth and blueberries on their food today. I made 10 pounds of blueberries total in the freeze dryer, and I've been putting them on the dog's food, so they get 10 blueberries in the morning and 10 blueberries at dinner. That's the first thing we've been adding, and we're adding that to everybody's food, so that's the first thing they've been getting. And then they're getting two tablespoons of bone broth in the morning, two tablespoons of bone broth at night. Once we get back from this trip, I'm going to be adding some other stuff to their food as well. I mean, I always add, like, chicken and different things to their food, but this is going to be a more regular thing. I think I'm going to do it every single time from here on out. Oh, my goodness. So I got some more stuff to get packing. The RV is a disaster. Holy cow. I should take you guys out there. Actually, I will take you guys out there. As soon as they're done eating, I'll go show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, I ain't kidding. There's just stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's stuff. Because we've been throwing stuff in here and not fully putting it away. So here's all my groceries I gotta load. And then I gotta start putting all this other stuff away. A lot of it I can do while we're camping, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, run, 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 run today. That's all we're doing. Are we ever gonna get to camping? I guess we'll find out. Be good. I have to go meet Greg at the vet so we can hopefully figure out what's wrong with Mr. Chewy. Hey, how doing? You don't seem too freaked out, huh? Hey, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. How doing, huh? How come you're not eating your food there, little dude? And he's like, I don't want nothing. Leave me alone. I'll take those pets, though. Those are great. And we'll get this figured out. Maybe you'll just have to come camping with us. What do you think? You want to come camping with us? You could sleep in a tent? He's like, I could do it. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, happy girls. So, back from the vet. Packing up the last little bit of stuff to go camping. Let me give you a quick update on Mr. Chewy. So I think if I kind of already said that we're literally camping 10 minutes away from home. Like Greg is actually less than 10 minutes away from home where we're going camping, which is kind of cool. So they thought they heard crackling in his lungs. So they did an x-ray. Thankfully, it wasn't actually crackling in his lungs. Uh, it's his airway itself, which is easier to treat. Uh, his airway is inflamed and that's why he's like hacking and making all that noise and stuff like that. They're pretty sure that's also why he doesn't want to eat just because he's uncomfortable. So they gave him steroids, antibiotics. Oh, and they did give him some subcutaneous fluids because they felt like he was a little bit more dehydrated than he should be, which they said probably had to do with the fact that he hasn't been eating a whole lot. So he did all that. Greg has to go home twice a day to give him meds once every 12 hours. So it actually should work out pretty good because he wanted to go home and check on him anyway. And uh, his roommate will be there while we're gone. So he'll also give updates on the cat. So that's the update on the, on the cat, on Chewy. The other cats seem to be doing fine. Chewy was the one that was actually upstairs when the smoke filled the house, so he he did get the worst of it. For some reason, he didn't run downstairs like all the other cats did, so he got the worst of it. Are you feisty? Yeah? Yeah? You want to go camping? They've been watching us load the camper, and they're like, we know something's going on. Let's get feisty! Girls, ready? You ready for this? <laughs> I can walk all three dogs at You once. can. You know why? None of them are pulling. They're all going right here. Yeah, they're like, we want in. Let's go camping. Come on, Memphis. I think right. they're ready. No, no retreats. No, no scapes. Are Let's we go. ready? Let's go. We made it before dark. I figure I better film some stuff before, before dark. So I figure, look at Jamie's got no shoes on. <laughs> look for mushrooms. Greg and I already came out here and we picked mushrooms and acorns. Oh, so they delicious? Um, well, we didn't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, some of them were puffball mushrooms. Kind of getting this set up. Greg's got a fire going for us, which is awesome. Like I said, that path will take us right down to the river. But I think this is uh, where we're going to be for the next few nights. Hopefully. The dogs are inside. We got to get this set up. This is where we are. This is that end, right? Green on that end? Uh, nope, green on that end. Yeah, so we're gonna get all this stuff set up. I just thought I'd show you guys. This is where we're at. We're at Indian Reserve Campground. And uh, wait, 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 wait. we're kind of here. Uh, looking pretty good. We got some bikes in the back, kayaks. Should be good. Look at it, it's getting dark. We got, it's getting dark. It's like after eight o'clock. Oh yeah, that makes it dark too, Greg. That does make it dark as well. 
So we got the dogs all hooked up on the line. Sprayed them down with the wonder sides. I was kind of saying there is a river back over there, so it, it might be a little buggy here, but I don't think it'll be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad at all. Look at Greg got color changing marshmallows. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, and he's cooking us dinner over there. Cooking some brats. I did bring the dill pickle sauerkraut, but oh, good. Um, I mean, it's not fried or anything, but it's dill pickle sauerkraut. Dill pickle so, sauerkraut. so we're gonna make some food on the fire. Finish setting up. Looking good. Ooh. <laughs> you look perfect. Are you only having one, Greg? There was, well, uh, yeah, we gotta cook. I was gonna say it only holds four. Oh, that's what it is. I was gonna say. Okay, so I can eat one of those and you'll yep, make one you more. Eat one of those and we'll make more. Okay, all right, that works. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm figuring it out. What do you think, girls? They're like, I think you got, whoa, we got pie iron stuff. We got s'more stuff. Get it? We got some more stuff. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to eat mine over here because somebody yeah. thinks I'm gonna share. So that's gonna have to happen. It's kind of dark, but I think it's funny. Look, Jamie's got his king camp chair. Ooh, yeah. Kira didn't want it. She was like, mm, I don't want that chair. I'll go take the big fancy chair. Thank you. She wants pets. That's what she wants. She's like, I haven't seen you all day, Dad. No. You've been working. Right. You get the roof done? Uh, it was really close. It's pretty much to where I was standing in his way the whole time. So, so you don't like, have to go help him tomorrow? Nope. He'll be able to finish it up by himself. And, and then when we get back from Pennsylvania, you can start your next project with Chris? <laughs> or your next project with your dad? Or yeah. your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get to stay busy. Yep, yep. I, Look at, I gotta show you. I got Memphis a present, but I gotta put it together. I don't even know if she'll use it. If she uses it, then I might get a few more. All right, maybe I guess I should put it together. What do you think, Eleanor? It's like, I think we're camping, and it's pretty dang great. Look at it! She's off the ground. I did it, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I gave her her own bed, and it folds up just like a folding camp chair, so it just... It's just, but it's for dogs. It it's like a, a cot cot. Doesn't it? I know. Yeah, you could probably put a little kid on it. Yeah. So Memphis has her own little outside bed, and she's actually laying on it, which makes me happy. But I'll probably get at least a second one so that Eleanor can have one. Kira does not need one because she has her own chair. But I might have to get another one. What do you think, Memphis? Does it make you happy? It's like, this is kind of fancy. And it's all for me. I just want you up off the ground when we're camping. That's all. I just want you to be comfy. And you look pretty comfy right there. Is it working? Uh, I don't know. We put another blue one down there. Just I, the to blue test one it. turned purple on the side. Okay. It, Which it is exactly what I thought it was going to do. I mean, is, is it, Did it turn purple or black? I don't know. <laughs> it might be black. Greg bought color changing marshmallows. I told Jamie, I'm like, wow, these are covered. And oh, pull, so pull it out now. Pull it out. Pull it out. Bring it over here to the light so we can see. It turned green. Yeah, I can't that tell from here, green, but that one did one turn green. turned orange. So they got yellower. They just okay. brown. That's all yeah, they do. That's all they do. <laughs> but I mean, that's. that's we'll have green. to do some during the daylight so we so the audience can see them better. But yeah. yeah. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Are you camping? It's like, <laughs> oh, don't do that. There's other people around here, silly. You gotta be quiet. Here, get on your bed. Get on your bed. Get on your bed, show them. She's like, oh, this bed is very nice. I really like it. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff, huh? It's like, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. But I want a marshmallow piece, thank you. So you're gonna hear the water heater heating up because it's literally right there. But this makes me so happy. Look how happy she is. She fluffed it a little bit and she's been laying right here next to me. This makes me happy. I'm just glad she's off the ground. Is that good stuff, Memphis? This is like, yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, so I got these solar lights. I think I showed you guys the one on the porch and I didn't realize it, but Jamie brought him camping. So Greg's gonna set one up. Yeah, they're like fireworks. Yeah, there you go. So it'll flash like fireworks. <laughs> they're so cool. It's like a firework. Baby, you're a firework. <laughs> Jamie's playing with his uh, metal detector. Oh, which reminds me, you guys. Now that you actually have it with you, you should Amazon review it tomorrow. This, the, the metal detector, we never did the review on it. Oh, I think you found some metal. A nail? A nail? A nail. Hmm. Yep. I'm glad you found that. Now nobody's going to step on that barefooted or bare pawed. Yep. <laughs> Memphis is like, good, good what find, is Greg. that? What's going right, on? Let's, let's see if we can find something else. Oh, oh. Right, more nails. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
<laughs> it's right there, whatever it is. <laughs> Maybe it's money. You should get your lantern so you can see better. <laughs> if they find anything, I'll let you guys know. So what'd you find? A nail and a screw. <laughs> I'm gonna build a house. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is the place to check. Like Kira's like, find all the nails and screws. Kira's like, this is great. Leave them buried. I mean, are you? <laughs> you got some metal in your hand there. Hey, Greg, use it on Memphis's leg. <laughs> oh, she's got. She got her surgery leg up. Yep, use it on her knee. There it is. <laughs> she got metal in her knee. She's like, hey, I got metal in my knee. <laughs> you don't have any metal in your knee yet, Greg. <laughs> but Memphis does. <laughs> so I feel like all you guys are doing now is, whoa, is that a big piece of it? So we're we're pretty sure the fire pit used to be right there because this is what they're finding. It's like pieces of aluminum that people melted over a fire. <laughs> well, at least like not right. Well, like I said, though, maybe you'll find somebody's uh, ring. Yeah, you just never know. Mm -hmm. Memphis was on her bed for quite a while, but then she thought they were eating something, so she was like, get off the bed, come over here. It's getting cold out, you guys. 40 tonight, yeah, 45, between 40 and 45 tonight, but then tomorrow is supposed to be like 84, so. We'll see what happens. Let's see those. You found money. 70 something? Old money, like us. <laughs> yeah, not well, not old. you, you're not, from the 80s. Okay, not that old. <laughs> Uh, hey. huh. yeah, I right. than I started. You found a penny. <laughs> and look, Memphis has curled up back on her bed. She just mm -hmm. got back up here. She does like it. I like that she can stretch out if she wants to, and I like that it has That's the fun. little netting. Like, it's great. What do you think, Eleanor? Should I get you one? You're now the only one without a bed. You like really squishy beds, though. I might have to get you a flat mat, like one of the flat squishy ones. We'll see. What do you think, ma'am? Wait, she got dirt in her eye. Did you, you have dirt in your eye? <laughs> Weird. Do me a favor and don't get all dirty because between camping now and camping up north and heading to Pennsylvania, I am not going to have time to give you a bath mm -hmm. and make yeah. you all super bright white. Well, maybe. See how dirty she gets and then the river she gets and then the everything she gets. She's got to look her best for her Pennsylvania meet and greet, hon. Mm -hmm. She's like, I got to look my best. Mm -hmm. For my Pennsylvania meet and greet. So Memphis is snuggling on the couch over here. Eventually she'll come to the bed. And then look at these two. Both of them. Kira's like, this is my spot. Everybody else can go find someplace else. Is that your bed? That, yep, it's my bed. And nobody else can sleep here. Can I sleep there? Nope, go find your own spot. <laughs> You're curled up in the corner. You're in the perfect spot. <sighs> all right, we are going to go ahead and call it a night. As crazy it is, as it is, we're camping. We all have to get up early and leave tomorrow and then come back out here. I got to take my Jeep in for an oil change. Greg has to go give his cats medicine. I don't have to leave. You got to take me to go get my Jeep because I didn't bring it with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have. I don't know what we were thinking. But I'm going to go drop my Jeep off in the morning for an oil change. And Jamie would do it, but they're doing it for free at the dealership. So I might as well have them do it. Okay, right. Yeah, I mean, it's free. So we're going to do that. And then we'll be back to camping tomorrow. And I don't know what's going on tomorrow. We'll figure it out tomorrow. It's supposed to be hot. Well, 83, so we'll see. But we are going to go ahead and call it a night. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We'll see you again. Soon. Oh, are you gonna show them the donuts? Did you see what we get to get to mm -hmm. have now? Mm -hmm. My mom brought us donuts from the cider mill. I could have went. I was invited. We're going. I know. While we're camping, we could take Greg to the cider mill. Right. Oh, good spot for him. Good hiding spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fun to drive yeah. all the way up there, but. Yeah, we could do that. Man, it'll be, it's the weekend though. We missed the Thursday. Mom and Dad went today because it was Thursday. But they're still open. Oh, yeah, but so. there'll be a million people there because it's their first weekend. But, Second weekend. Oh, it is the weekend. It is yes, the weekend, it yeah. Is and it's weekend. Labor Day weekend. There will be a million people there. There will be a million people there, so maybe we'll just wait. We already got the donuts, and they don't have enough apples yet anyway, so maybe we'll just wait. Okay, okay, okay. Good night, audience.